Welcome back everybody for another video. I thought I filmed an intro for this video, but apparently I didn't, so I'm just going to dub over some B-roll. But in this video, we're looking at a PC that I built a few years ago. It's got some overheating issues, and we also want to look into a CPU upgrade. So let's get into it. Okay, so we know the CPU is overheating, and we're gonna upgrade the CPU anyways from a Ryzen 5 3600 to a Ryzen 5 5700X3D. Uh, but before we do that, we need to do a BIOS update. So I've gone out to the Gigabyte website and downloaded the latest BIOS version, slapped on a flash drive. We're going to get this plugged in, get it updated, and then we will go through the steps of replacing the CPU. So we've got our flash drive here. We are just going to plug it in, preferably to a USB 3.0 port, and excuse the mess around me. And we will go ahead and boot it up. And we'll keep hitting delete to get into the BIOS. And we are in the BIOS. So let me turn my keyboard around here. We want to go to, maybe it's under, oh, it's going to be Q flash. So down here, we'll do Q flash, current flash, we'll do update BIOS. We will find our BIOS file on our flash drive. We'll hit next. Are you sure? We're going to hit yes. That's the BIOS version. Updated will be B550M DS3H. That's the BIOS version. So <clears throat> you want to make sure the model is exactly the same. And before you update the BIOS, because if you update the wrong BIOS to the wrong motherboard, you're going to have a real bad time. So we'll go ahead and press to start. And our BIOS is up to date and it's booting back into Windows 11. Uh, but curiously, while that was going on, uh, this fan is not spinning. This is stuck. So you can see now it's trying to. Uh, so I think I found out why the CPU is overheating. Um, I think what we're going to do is either swap this fan or I have an, another cooler we can use. Uh, I think we're going to use that. So interesting little development there. You can hear it actually sounds terrible. I don't know if you can hear that. Interestingly enough, so what we're actually going to do is close out all this stuff because I don't want to look at any of the uh, stuff he's got going on. Uh, we're not going to install that App Center right now. Let's rerun Furmark. And I'm curious to see if the temperatures are any better. I have a feeling they're going to be. Uh, we're, this is the GPU. I, I'm not, I don't want to test the GPU. So let's go ahead and go to our stability test here. And we'll do start. And the fan is still running. Yeah, so now it's running at uh, 75C under load, which is a lot more reasonable uh, and is not running at that 95C. So <clears throat> I should have seen that before, but that's why you just kind of want to look over everything. Um, yeah, that fan has seen better days. So we'll get that fixed. And I think I have... Um, let's go ahead and get it shut down. And we will switch over to uh, our upgraded CPU and we'll go through that process. And before we can upgrade the CPU to this 5700X3D, if I can actually get it to focus here, uh, there is thermal paste on the pins right there, if you can see it. So I'm going to show you how to clean that up. So what I'm actually using to blast the CPU is WD-40 Electrical Contact Cleaner. It's completely safe for electronics. I've used it on CPUs, motherboards, GPUs, everything. And this will just blast away that thermal paste like nothing else. And you don't have to take a ton of time using rubbing alcohol and brushes and all that stuff. Just use this to blast it away and you are good to go.
Okay, so my phone died while I was filming, but essentially we finished getting the CPU in place. We got the KPX thermal placed on the CPU. We reinstalled the CPU cooler with a new CPU fan. We hooked that up, cable managed it. I've got everything wiped down and cleaned up. Um, so we're gonna power it on after putting the new CPU in and let's see what happens. And we got our HDMI hooked up, our monitor's on. We'll give a second to detect the new CPU. I don't see if there's any lights on the board. I don't see anything. All right. All right. All right. We're good. I can't see this because of the reflection. Yes, we want to reset the uh, TPM. And I'll find a better way to film this going forward. But I'm just trying to get it to where you can see it while I see it and all that good stuff. And then what we'll do is boot into the BIOS to set uh, XMP for the RAM. Might turn on PBO. Um, see if that'll work. And then we'll run some stress tests. And then we should be good to go. So... It's booting into Windows now, so we'll let that do its thing. And let me switch the camera real quick to make it easier for you all to see what's on the screen, and we'll go through that process. Okay, we are going into the BIOS. All right, and we are on that updated BIOS version. We've got the 5700X3D. We've got our two 8 gig sticks of RAM. And let's look at XMP. We're going to do Profile 1. Should set that to 3200 megahertz uh cl16 it looks like so that's good and then let's look at a few other things here the here we go we want to turn this on and resizable bar turn that on and we also want to look for secure boot enabled let's just do let's just say what we have so we turn on XMP and we turn on resizable bar. We're going to restart. So we are back in Windows 11 and we can see that we're now running in uh, 3200 mega transfers per second. Uh, our CPU is installed, good to go. Our GPU is showing up just fine. So let's go ahead and run some stress tests. Okay, so I like to run IDA64 with Firmark at the same time. This will just saturate the PC itself with heat and we will see how well it can dissipate that heat. All right, it hasn't been too long. It's been about three minutes, but more little things I wanna do just to wrap up and then this will be good to go. All right, so we've got the PC ready to go. Uh, quick recap of what we did. We went from a Ryzen 5 3600 to a Ryzen 7 5700X3D. Uh, we obviously repasted the CPU when we did that. We installed a new CPU cooler fan because the old one was literally locked up and was not spinning, which was causing the Ryzen 5 3600 to get above 95C, which was thermal throttling. Um, wiped everything down, blew all the dust out. I didn't get some of that stuff on camera, but um, got everything cleaned up, got uh, fresh drivers installed, uh, ran a stress test with Ida64 and Firmark2 at the same time, just to stress the CPU and the GPU. Everything ran beautifully. Uh, I played a game for a second uh, just to run around and make sure everything was okay. And yeah, PC is good to go. We'll get it back to the customer and let them know the good news that everything is working. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Let me know, do you like these types of videos? Do you want me to do the other videos where I'm not necessarily on camera, but I'm doing more of like the overhead cleaning things up with uh commentary over it um yeah thanks again for everyone that's subscribed so far and that's watched um that's engaged with my content it really does mean a lot uh it really does keep me going uh, i appreciate it and i will see you in the next one